Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, we are going to discuss recursion. That's because the ID3 algorithm we're going to talk about really soon is a recursive algorithm. And it's really hard to just jump into recursive algorithms without refreshing your brain or learning what recursion is for the first time. Either one, whether you're a recursion expert or you've never seen recursion, I would highly recommend you watch this video just to get your mind back into the thought of recursion. So what is recursion? Put simply, recursion is a function that calls itself. It's really super weird when you first start learning about it. But essentially, let's say you call a function on some set of data what recursion is going to do is call the same function on a smaller set of the data. So you pass in this entire piece and you want it to do something with this entire thing of data. What's going to happen is it's actually going to call the same function with a smaller piece of data. And then that smaller version is going to call a smaller version and a smaller version and a smaller version and a smaller version and a smaller version, and a smaller version until you get to the smallest version <laughs> and then you're going to go back up and finish the big one. <laughs> so that probably just made it super confusing. So I'm just going to go through a very simple example and it probably has like no practical use in the real world. So well maybe, you know, maybe. So we'll, we'll go through it and we'll see we'll see if I like it or not. Before I dive into the example, recursion is very popular with trees. So if you think of having a tree that branches a bunch of times, we may not know how many times it branches. So you can think of calling a function on the whole tree, which then calls the same function on a smaller piece of the tree, which then calls it on a smaller piece of the tree, which would then be the smallest piece. And then it's going to go back up, which you'll see what I mean by that in a second, and finish out the function. So you can use recursion to visit all nodes in a tree without knowing how many nodes there are. And that's one really cool thing you can do with recursion. Because once you finish this node, it'll go to this one, and then it's gonna go to this one, and then this group here, this one, and then this one, and then this one, and then finally this one. <laughs> okay, that's enough drawing. Let's go to another example that's really practical. By practical, I mean not really that practical. So we're gonna make an echo function. So a function is just a piece of code you can use as many times as you want by calling that function using its name. So you define it first using you know, some syntax. We'll just use pseudocode, which is just kind of make it up as you go. <laughs> and what this is going to do is it's going to take a message and shout it out and then decrease the volume a certain amount and then shout it out again and then decrease the volume Shout it out. So you can think of it as an echo, 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 echo. Okay, so we take in some message. I don't really care about the data types or anything. It's, we'll just, you know, we'll just go with a Python kind of syntax here. So we take in a message and then we take in a loudness. Then what this is going to do is it's going to shout, which we'll just assume that's defined somewhere. And that's going to take the message and pass in the loudness. <laughs> Pretty simple. And then it's going to do the same thing. It's going to echo and it's going to pass in the message. And then loudness minus some amount. This is a simple example of recursion because what we do is we pass in a big message which shouts the message out, pretend it's a game or something and your character is yelling. It's going to shout it out and then it's going to call the same message with a smaller volume and then the same message with a smaller volume and a smaller volume and a smaller volume until there's no volume left. And that is how recursion works. But there's a couple little gotchas I need to mention. Okay, so we don't want to run into a situation where we have an infinite recursion and that's just when a function calls itself an infinite number of times. So there's some things you always got to remember to do and that is use a return. So the return is going to exit out of a function. <laughs> it's kind of weird how you do this but imagine you have echo and this is going to return a smaller version of echo which is going to return a smaller version of echo. That's going to be very important when you get into more complex recursion to make sure the call stack is correct. 
The other thing is you need what's known as a base case. And actually, that is the topic of the next video, just so I can have a whole video to go in as much depth as I like. So hopefully that was not too rough. If you're new to recursion, I know it sounds like super weird and crazy, and it is, but it works. Just try it out. <laughs> it, it essentially allows you to do loops where you don't know when it ends, but you don't actually want to use recursion for loops. Some people used to do that and some people still do, but it's really just frowned upon unless you have to do it that way. So some languages, for example, you might not have a loop structure like, like something like while true. Some languages may not have a structure like this, so you may implement the same thing using recursion. So thank you guys, that's all I got for this video. Please be sure to subscribe and I will see you in the next one.